Are you intending to put that out over SPL or something? Or? Oh, that's for us. Oh, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, no, but if, actually, if you would talk to SPL, I'm sure they would love to hear that because they don't get that data in front of them. Plus, they'd love to hear your voice. Yeah, um, SPL. I'm not getting you on SPL, actually. Can you latch SPL to talk? No, down. There you go. No. You may not want to listen because every conversation that is had on SPL, um, you'll hear. So you can turn that off if you want. What you'll hear is me talking incessantly. But it's just talking to you. Will you be talking like that all the time? Yeah, I've got dreams of being an NFL announcer. It's been a long ways off, can you tell? Yeah, no. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, Wow. Surface, surface. <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> let's go, Argus pilot. They don't need us in here. Yeah, let's go. Now we leave everything to you. Video, can we see it? <laughs> let's go. In any of our cameras? <laughs> um, Keep on doing for me. They're, they're delicious. Sounds like video is going to try to see if we can get that on a camera somewhere. <laughs> they are delicious. You eat some strange things in Spain. Don't, don't eat all of them. <laughs> Do they, do they make tuna safe dolphin? I know, I was going to say, it sounds, it sounds great. <laughs> they make tuna. Jamon, dolphin jamon. <laughs> it's a legitimate question. Tuna safe dolphin. Tuna safe dolphin. Oh, it's awful. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that thing stung me earlier today. It was paying you forward. <laughs> for that Can you believe I got stung? But I got stung today by a jelly, and I wasn't even in the water. <laughs> Somebody oh. threw it to you. What? Did you get that? That's a phone. I don't want to answer that. I'm sure that's all about our dolphin safety. <laughs> We're in trouble. We're in trouble. I was like immediate. <laughs> oh, man. Is that is that good to go in the phone rings? Uh, no, did we get in trouble? <coughs> Twelve C it came up. They're coming. Uh, we're a cheery bunch now. Went out to take a look at the uh, the dolphins there. They were pretty hard to see, though. I think they'd gone past the ship already. It's a little bit foggy out there tonight. How far behind is the East Coast? Does anybody know? Six hours. So it's 10 p.m. It's 11 p.m. here. The East Coast is nine hours. Is that right? Six. Six hours. Six. 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 Six hours oh, difference. West Coast is nine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So he must have meant... Science, when you have some time, would you be able to speak a little bit about what okay. we uh, hope to be looking for on this dive? Yep. Um, Jamie Austin, I'm your co-chief on this expedition. Uh, we are on the uh, north-facing slope of the South Alberin Ridge. It's a, a southern of two ridges that are northeast-southwest trending in the central Alberin Sea. We spent the last uh, 24 hours or so with a side scan sonar tool and a sub bottom profiling tool, which we call Echo, uh, looking for targets. Um, we know by uh, looking at our bathymetry maps, our very good multi beam bathymetry maps that have been given to us by our Spanish colleagues, that 
this slope is characterized by a number of uh, what we call submarine canyons. And although we did not see any sizable uh, echo targets in, uh, in the largest of these canyons, we've decided to uh, conduct this dive of Argus and Hercules in the, uh, in the axis of one. We're coming down at about a depth of 1,300 meters, and we'll be moving up. Uh, we're not sure yet exactly how far, but probably uh, at least six or 700 meters uh, on this ridge. Uh, moving up in depth, that is? In depth, right, and we're upslope. And we'll be, uh, that's the best way to be uh, traversing up the canyon is upslope. It allows Hercules to take a good look at the slope. Our operational scenario here will be to uh, move up slope gradually, Let's moving from side to side, uh, hey, wall to wall. Fish there, uh, we're looking for geologic features and biological <laughs> features <laughs> associated <laughs> with this uh, canyon. So stay tuned. We should be on the uh, on the bottom in less than an hour now, and then we'll be starting to move up slope. That's huge. Is that something caught on the front of Herc, or is that? Well, I think it's biology. It's been going for a while. Yeah, it's a filament of some kind, but I don't think it's. Uh, I think it's biological. I don't think it's. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a uh, fishing line or something. Oh like that. No, 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 yeah, I agree. It's a it, biological. It, it, it is a huge uh, jellyfish, and there was a lot right. of fishes in the other uh, right. filaments. But it's not stuck to the like that filament isn't stuck to the front of Herc. It's just this long. No, I, oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah looks like. Because that's many, oh, many meters long. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it's stuck a little bit. Oh, whoa. Oh, no, we've got a string with a fish stuck to it. It's stuck to the vehicle. <laughs> oh, we do. There oh we go. Gosh. Sample oh, number one. Oh. 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 Sorry, little buddy. I got caught one of those today, too. <laughs> Jellyfish. Oh, we oh, have bring a, this uh, back. For those Circle of you looking of at our uh, Hercules HD, we don't uh, usually get this much entertainment on the way down. <laughs> we are looking at uh, we're looking at a, fi a fish that oh, appears to oh, be oh, caught oh, in oh, a oh, jellyfish uh, tentacle of some kind. Predator-prey relationships right here on our ROVs. Yeah. And at this point, we're just about halfway to the bottom. We are passing 610 meters depth. And our oh, show's over. estimated water depth at this point is 1,325 meters. So we're getting there. That was pretty incredible. Yeah. I've never seen a jellyfish with prey that it's caught before. This dive is so promising. Well, it's uh, <laughs> those stinging tentacles that they bring to bear are pretty powerful for a small fish like that, so. For those of you watching on NautilusLive.org, yeah, while were, you're they waiting were for us to, too. while you're waiting for us to reach the bottom, we have be, two new videos on the be. Nautilus website, and I personally think these are gonna be very interesting to watch. Uh, two tour of the Nautilus. Uh, one of them yeah, is tech and engineering, is. and the other one is life at sea. Um, right. And those are, um, just short clips that show you what it's like to live and work above the, aboard the Nautilus, and those are new to the site today. And so I encourage you to check those out while you're waiting for us to get to the bottom. Oh, so I was explaining to you before about the sonar. So there's a little cylinder, you know, the ram, and uh, it, but it's not filled with oil; it's filled with air. So as we dive, the air compresses and it deploys. Simple, nice. <laughs> 